Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is lesson 14, importing, exporting audio, MIDI and video files. In this lesson, we will learn how to import audio, MIDI and video files into our session. How to audition audio in audio dialog box, how to work with the imported files in your sessions and how to export these uh, files eventually. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about importing uh, audio and MIDI. Of course, as we go along with our session, we can create uh, certain ideas in our sessions, uh, tracks and clip groups based on either audio recordings or MIDI performances or using great uh, virtual instruments. However, sometimes we may have some loops, some guitar riff or some other audio files we may need to bring into our uh, our session. Most of the time I find uh, some arrangements all together and need to build up uh, certain instrumentation and improve that arrangement. So sometimes I am actually sent uh, by other musicians and other ensembles the whole session of certain recordings of certain instrumentation so I import that to my Pro Tools and, uh, and then go over that but this uh, lesson we're gonna simply bring in one or two uh, audio and MIDI into our session it's actually very easy to do that what we do for the audio this is our session and I just only have a click track here at the moment and it is muted my uh, transport is right here, selected 120, so that's the default tempo. What we do uh, to bring uh, an audio, we go under File and we have Import uh, option there. And when we go under Import with this arrow, we can import all these things to our session. This could be a session. Uh, session data could be audio MIDI video or even the clip groups most of these have shortcuts so let's start with the audio uh, shortcut for bringing audio into our session is shift command I I'm gonna just go and manually select this and when we open uh, that's the import audio uh, dialog box in my screen right here and it shows me a couple of files here on another session so first of all I need to know where I'm bringing uh, the the audio in my session I pre worked on a um, folder here on my desktop and that's the one has audio and MIDI files in it a few of them if I go select this folder here I see already two of my audio files they are already uh, they are already a uh, they are already there to come but however uh, you see the MIDI file here it's uh, grayed out so since I'm under importing audio of course I cannot select the MIDI file that's for the MIDI so what I do in this dialog box where, where we look at it there is no information at this moment as you see the whole dialog box is kind of grayed out. I need to choose something in order to make things work here. So I go to this uh, beat first of all, actually. This is my second audio, but I know that's my beat and I click on it. You can also extend the information by holding and dragging here. So I wasn't able to see the whole name. So when I extended it, I know. So I can view the whole information. This window on the left basically uh, it my, it's my uh, computer. I could bring something from my uh, external drives or if there's anything on desktop or under documents or if it's a downloaded file, I could directly choose those files too. So, and over here, since I know where I, I have the files, so I look at this window and I have a preview right here that I can check some of the information when it's created last open duration and audio bitrate everything and once I select basically the speed more information here this is a broadcast wave file length is is pretty short eight seconds and the size 16 bit depth and sample rate is 44.1 uh, 